Now I have a real issue with my current bag setup and I reckon there's a good chance you have too. You see it's that time of year when hardcore golfers, that means ones that play all year round and it's time to start thinking about your bag setup and I know I certainly do. You see, I spent all summer trying to find or put together a bag that made life as simple as possible, in terms of playing golf at least. But the problem is, that came at a bit of a compromise. You see, if you are a channel regular, you'll know that I am a big fan of high lofted fairway woods and also hybrids. In fact, I have a nine wood in the bag, but I think it might be time for it to go. Well, for now at least, anyway. What a horrible pin placement that is. Get over the brow. Ah. You see, as you can see from that ball flight, this nine wood launches the ball incredibly high. It also spins very high at the same time. And whilst it's not too bad on this hole, which is downwind, you can see there's a possible problem coming with the winter coming and some high winds. And if that's blowing this way, this club is a real problem. But the problem I have is that the nine wood has been very much a go-to club this year. Very much like the one I'm about to play now. And the issue I've got is how do I replace it? Get in. This chip is just genius, you know. Now, whilst we take a quick break for a bit of a rain delay, you can perhaps let me know in the comment section below, are you changing up your bag for the winter months? And if so, what are those changes? Are you facing similar problems to what I'm finding right now? So the problem is this. I need, if I'm gonna take this out the bag, I need to find a club that covers around 185 to 190 in terms of distance traveled but I want a lower ball flight and I want something lower in spin to allow for those potential windy conditions in terms of the winter. But there are a few other issues that need to be considered. Oh. You see, one of the other considerations is I don't want its replacement to be super low launching either because also in wet conditions in the winter, I need a certain element of carry distance because there's going to be no rollout whatsoever. And up until very recently, that would have been a tough ask, but I think I found the perfect replacement. Now the first point to mention is the 9 wood is lofted at 24 degrees, the club I am replacing it with is 22 degrees. They both carry the same distance but get there in a very different way and obviously the way I want it to be and that will be borne out in dry ball data which I'll show you very soon. So first of all, let me reveal what the club is that I'm replacing it with. It's another club from TaylorMade. It's their DHY, their driving hybrid, which I had huge success with in the summer by putting the five DHY in, in place of my five iron. And I'm also now gonna add the four iron, which is like I said, 22 degrees, because first of all, that covers that gap in terms of the distance, the same travel as the nine wood but it's the fact of how it gets there now first of all just watch these two shots i've played from the same tee box and hopefully you can visually see that the launch angle is considerably different don't get me wrong these are still very easy to launch these dhys and they do have a higher ball flight but there's also an ability to manipulate that ball flight which we'll talk about later but for now those two shots are different in their ball flight but if we look down fairway they're very very similar in terms of where they've landed and then if you look at the dry ball data i collect earlier then it suggests this club is doing exactly what I want it to do the main issues being it's lower launching and it's lower spinning but it's still carrying that same distance that I'm looking to cover now what I really like about this DHY range is the fact that they come in a two three four 
and five option. So I always felt like when we did the initial review that this could play a major part in the top end of the bag in a number of different ways. And the fact that I've got this infill now as an exchange for the nine wood, I think is really good. But the other thing that I mentioned is sort of playability, workability in terms of shot shape and also being able to flight the ball down. It's almost impossible for me, at least with a nine wood, it's, a, it's, a, it's one dimensional. It pops the ball up really high. It travels 185 yards, ideally straight, but I can't really manipulate it to do anything other than that. And that's fine. Like I said, for a lot of average golfers, myself included, that's a real good tool to have in the bag. But if you want to flight the ball down, which I'm going to attempt to do now with this four iron, it's near on impossible with that nine wood. But with the Ford DHY, oh, and do you know what? That is exactly the ball flight that I was looking for. So a more piercing and penetrating ball flight. If you're playing into the wind, that's absolutely superb. And again, that ability to move the ball from me, left to right, uh, is much easier to do with this type of club in hand. But then it's not all rosy in the guard. And whilst I'm championing this DHY, this lower lofted lower ball flight as a winter option, there's certainly compromises you've still got to make in my opinion, and none more so than a fairly heavy lie that you're about to see me play. I played the four DHY. I sort of almost, you know, dug it out there, if you like. It is wet ground, it's heavy lie, and you can see the ball flight is low, and we got to the position we are right now. Then I play it with the nine wood, and first of all, I've got to say, I've got a lot more confidence with the mass of the nine wood, and it looks a lot more lofted, to be honest with you, so I almost felt like I was going to gouge it out that bit better, and you'll see it pops the ball up a lot, lot different, even though we probably ended up in a similar position just the other side of the fairway. But you can see that uh, that mass that's in the nine wood just gives it the ability, in my opinion, to get through the rough a bit easier. So that situation with the bag that I'm putting together, I'd probably look to play that 5DHY I've got in the bag with a bit more loft and hopefully help me gouge it out a bit closer to the green. Either way, it's a pretty horrible shot to have to play. But don't worry, the chipper will come to the rescue. Yeah, so compromises to be made, perhaps out of that rough, the nine would be a better option. But for me, again, you're playing from the tee with this kind of thing. You'll also be playing from a tight lie on the fairway. If anything, for me, I'd perhaps prefer the DHY from the tight lie off the fairway. Always prefer that, particularly on a Lynx course, than playing uh, a kind of fairway wood. But we'll try and hit this next iron in, see if we can get one more out, see what type of ball flight, slightly higher ball flight maybe, that we're looking for on this one. Yeah, so again, if you compare the two shots that I've just from the tee, and then the one we've just hit in there, a lot of difference in terms of ball flight, and like I've just said, and I'm repeating myself, but that's not something I could have looked to have done with the nine wood. So I think, really, we've done about as much as we can do. Right, that is it for me in terms of where I'm at, and my deliberation was nine wood or four DHY, or 185 yards, let's call it, but your deliberation might be quite different. The point is, I said at the beginning of the video, you might be in a similar situation where you're looking to change out what was your main sort of core summer bag to what is a winter bag and in this case for me just that one club change can make a big big difference to when i'm out on the fairways so like i said it's only what's relevant to me in this case but i'd really like to know what your changes are you're planning on making and don't forget don't just look at loft as being a direct equivalent and separator because they're clearly not we've seen 24 degrees getting replaced by 22 degrees and carrying exactly the same distance just getting there in a different way so that's always been the message throughout all the videos I have done and try and get yourself either custom fit if you're considering something new to be replaced or get down to a custom fit center and see if you can compare your two clubs on Trackman and have a look at exactly how they're both doing in terms of performance before you make that switch. Anyway, as ever, I'm all done. Really weird day here at Carden Park. Sunshine one minute, pouring down the next, but the review is done. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.